So this here is our eldest caravan. So I am preparing the caravan for our new theme. So I've been to the shops and I've bought quite a few new bits. So I am literally just bringing everything in to wash it out. So these are my new mugs from the range, which I absolutely love. I don't know what it is with this bee thing, but I really like it. So I've got these and I am just loading up the teas and coffees as well. I've also got my salt and peppers that I'm going to place in the caravan too. So the thing was, I was wanted to get like loads of bits for the caravan for it to be like home from home, really. This is proving difficult. But I wanted it to be like cute and cosy, you know, a bit shabby cheeky. Um, so that is the kind of look that I've gone for, which I'm going to show you the big reveal shortly. So I've spent all in all about... £250 on kicking it out with little cute bits. I'm hoping you all like it, seeing the transformation. It's funny, isn't it? Because with our house, I absolutely love it. But the thought of going out... No, oh, I can't get this off. Sorry, the thought of, like, on weekends, sometimes you just want to get away, don't you? Just feel like sometimes the idea of being able to just get away from any jobs or anything like that um, is nice because otherwise sometimes I find myself like you know tidying and stuff on a weekend and I think this is quality time so you know how much we love our caravan holidays anyway we're like regular goers to Haven and I'm not saying we'll never pay for a caravan again you know uh, to stay in at Haven in fact we do actually have one booked in April for next year where we will be staying in the caravans but i do like the idea of being able to go to loads of new places and explore um on a budget as well because it the places i mean we will order a takeaway or go out for a meal on a weekend easily spend over 100 pounds by just being at home thinking what should we do whereas if we just go away in a caravan you can get places from 10 pounds a night i've seen obviously some are more expensive like the one we're going to this weekend to try out our caravan for the first time i think it was 38 pounds but i mean so is a papa john's nowadays so i'm just going to top up the salt and peppers that's pepper how on earth do you i think you're supposed to use that as it is or do you open it i think i'm gonna open it i'm gonna just put it in there don't know if it's supposed to go in there though it's a grinder mm. i'm not sure on that one maybe it is supposed to go in there let's try it if I'm tipping it upside, oh. if I'm tipping it upside down, surely it's going to come out. And if it doesn't come out, well, no, it doesn't come out. Not going to work. I need some actual pepper, real pepper, to just go with salt for now. Get Danny to collect some pepper. Anyway, I'm going to show you the caravan in a minute. I think you'll like it. kettle from Amazon. I got that sink tidy 
from The Range. I also got a disher mat because it's going to be coming handy. And I got a washing up bowl, a small one from Booths. Uh, I also got some antibacterial wipes, some things to stick some pictures up, which I'm going to show you shortly that I'm going to stick up later while Danny is. Um, some tea towels, those were from The Range. The cute little pots for tea and coffee. They're from The Range. A chopping board. The mugs are from The Range. That is from Dunelm. That plant. I also got this from The Range. I thought we could either put fruit in it or um, chargers. Any extra bits that we've just not got storage space for. And then I also got that. So this is going to get hung up differently. This is from B&M Bargains. Originally bought for George's and Olivia's playroom, but I actually prefer it in here. Um, this is these mats I actually got off my mum. Cushions from Dunelm, five pounds each. That lantern is a lantern I've had in the house, and it's just not been anywhere I could make a home for. So I thought it'd be quite cosy in here. As you can see the little mugs. I got the salt and pepper. I was going to get a really decent salt and pepper, but then I actually thought part of the cuteness of a caravan is just basic cosiness. So that's the look that I wanted to go for. Um, so salt and pepper there. So that's, this actually turns into a bunk bed, but we won't need to use it because it's just the four of us. And then we've got our TV here. We've got our um, fire stick. So we can watch Netflix, etc. all the smart stuff. Um, and then I've got these cushions again, Dunelm. And I think those other ones, these, I got them a while ago. Um, they are from the range, I believe. My weighted blanket that it was in the house, just not really doing much because I've got my electric blanket now. And then a candle there that smells absolutely gorgeous. And then another cushion. I've ordered another one of these. I'm just waiting for it to come, actually. And then I've got this throw as well that goes in with the theme. And then some extra bits that I purchased. Um, so my mum got me this biscuit tin, it's so cute. It's from Home Bargains. When I got it, there was no biscuits left in it, but I thought it's quite a handy place to put our um, playing cards in there. There's a few biscuit crumbs left. Um, and then I got this from Dunelm, I think. I always keep the stickers on everything. A nightmare yeah it was from the range that this from the range these are obviously going to go away when we're on the move shortly so i'm going to put all of this stuff anything that could move in a cupboard in a box and then i'm going to decorate it so that's our charges for our charges for any electricals because we are an electrical loving family um and that is it really so, oh yes, and I also got that. This is our happy place as well. Not everything's got its home yet, but I'm really happy with the progress so far. And obviously before, this is our first caravan trip. So after today, I'll know what else I need to buy. At the moment, I've just gone for the basics, what I think we need. I've no doubt I've missed something. Um, that remote over there in the corner is a motor mover. If you haven't got one of those or you're thinking of getting a caravan, it's like almost something that you put on your caravan, you take your car off and your caravan can be controlled like a remote controlled car. So to get it in your drive, it is really, really handy. I recommend that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you, um, this is the bed stuff. Obviously, George has got a little panel here, so we won't be able to roll out, which is the main thing I was worried about. Um, Olivia's got a little netted kind of barrier. Um, all that stuff's obviously going to be moved. I've got a little bumbo seat for her in the back so we can feed her and she can just sit on the floor. Um, and then our bathroom. I've not overly decorated this yet, but um, I've got that with our toothbrushes hanging down. That's going to get moved. Um, I've got our coffee machine in there. We love a Tassimo, some nappies. And some pictures that I'm desperate for Danny to put on that wall there um, with the sticky stuff. So I'm going to do that. 
and then obviously our shower as well but yeah i'm absolutely loving the what space have i got in here have i got any space in here yeah a bit of space in there for your like skin stuff and wash stuff so that's really cool um so yeah i'm really happy with how it's coming on so far i think all in all i've spent around 300 pounds just decorating the place on little bits but just to get it cozy uh it might be less than that actually bearing in mind i've had to buy all bedding all bedding sheets and stuff i think that was the bulk of the cost also plates cutlery etc i've got my plates in here it was only after i bought the plates that people suggested a different type of plate which is called mella I'll put it in the comments. Can't remember the name quite now. Right now, got a toaster in there. Um, and then let's pick some other stuff. There's so much storage space. And then we've got a bottle opener. <laughs> Priorities. In fact, that reminds me, where is my cutlery? I must have washed it all and forgot to put it in. Thank God I opened that drawer today or else we would be eating with our fingers. So yeah. That's it so far anyway. A little plate for Olivia. Uh, I think I've got my pans in there somewhere. There's one. And yeah, I've not put the pan back. So these are all things that I'm gonna have to do now, but I hope you like the transformation of this caravan so far. There's a lot more I wanna do with it, but for now, I feel like we're ready to take our first caravan.